Hey guys, and welcome back to another My Pro in the VFL episode with VFL Wolfsburg, and this is the final ever episode of the Wolfsburg series, and I will explain everything in the video, but uh, in the background you'll be seeing gameplay from Saturday and Sunday's games, which it turns out they were actually relatively easy games, so I'm just going to show you the goals in the background whilst I talk about what's been going on at Wolfsburg and why I've made this decision for the first time in three years to leave a club before a season has finished and uh, whilst I don't really want to explain what reasoning there is be out of respect for the guys that I played with and I know some of them will be watching I'll tell you why well what reasons I definitely did not have and what you don't have to think um, happened because I left. Definitely not a falling out with anyone. I, th I still like the group, I still like the team a lot. These guys I've known for three years now, I think. Most of them at least. So it's definitely not a falling out or an argument. There's absolutely no hatred or bad blood between anyone. The results as well weren't the reason for me leaving. You're going to see by the games here, these were the last games I played for Wolfsburg before I got released. They were all very comfortable wins in the end, so there was nothing wrong in terms of results. There was nothing wrong with the team. There's no real bad, bad reason for it. All I want to say is I needed to change. I needed to move on. I had expectations for the season that in different areas have not been met and again that's at no fault of anyone I'm not going to blame any individual or if there's anyone to blame it's probably myself because I'm the one that eventually decided uh, that it was time to go I just didn't feel I fit in in certain aspects of the team and, and how we play and it's just I felt like I should do this to avoid problems in the future this is the final week of the VFL season and Wolfsburg now currently are technically top of the league if they win the last three games they win the league we're still in the cup we're still in the Champions League so I've left them in a good spot it's not like I'm leaving a sinking ship it's not that I'm you know one of those rage quit guys that leaves a team when some things aren't going their way which that happens a lot in VFL but this is not the reason why I left so I just want to make that clear I still appreciate these guys a lot I spoke to uh, well my best mate on VFL or FIFA Connor a lot after the release I spoke to Cass a lot who I've known for a long time and they're both kind of different in how how they see this um, without telling who did what one is very very supportive of my decision and the other one isn't. I understand that. It's fair enough. I'm not really angry about it, but it's nice to see that the one guy does still support me. The other one, he's given me reasons why he thinks I've let him down in a way, which I understand as well. I probably didn't do this the best way, and I'm not saying at all that the reason why I left is purely because of anyone else other than myself. I am at fault as well, and practically I... I'm the biggest problem because I'm the one that's, that decided to leave. I've had things in my mind that I didn't agree with. I had problems that I wrestled with throughout the season, even before the season started. I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't think it'd be this way. I thought it'd be a bit different. So, in the end, the only real problem the team had was me being not able to really fit in with the guys. And despite, like I said, I'm going to keep repeating it. I still love playing with them. I still like to talk to them. I still appreciate everything they've done they're a good group and that's why it's hard to leave them behind and that's probably the reason why i waited this long as well because there have been points in the season where you could say a player would have realistically wanted out um we had uh, maddox that left after we got slapped three nil against bremen and he didn't enjoy playing his position anymore which is fair enough i had that as well at that moment but i decided to stay for the group but eventually you're gonna run out of motivation and I thought well this is now the time now I'm gonna go I'm not gonna torture myself any longer not that it's torture to play but it's just it's I'm not in a good spot the past three weeks with Wolfsburg I have not really had any enjoyment out of it um, it's a tough league it's a good league nothing wrong with that and to see us top of the league now makes it a little bit easier to now move on because like I said I can't they can't you know 
No one can call in the excuse of, oh, they're losing, so he's, he's leaving them behind. That's not the reasoning why. We're in a good spot here in Wolfsburg, so that's good to see. And I'm, I'm happy that that's the way it's going to be, and that's how I'm going to leave. Now, in terms of what's going to happen now, after these games, um, I will keep you updated, I think, still with the Wolfsburg results and teams even after I left, because I did play a huge part of this season. And it is an exciting title race. We've won all our games on Saturday and Sunday, which means we are top of the league and again still in the Cup and Champions League so I'll keep an eye on that as well but in terms of where to go from here next season there is one team realistically that I would go to I spoke to them and it's sorted it's someone I played with last season someone I enjoyed playing with a really good good guy good manager as well so I'm not really uh, I'm not really scared of making the switch I'm more afraid of how Wolfsburg is going to react to me uh, doing this I'm pretty sure at this point the decision was already made I'm pretty sure they're already be talking about it without me knowing but I've still got a few friends there that I can talk to so hopefully everything will be all right but I will announce my signing in this video may as well I'm going to join for the final week of the season a team that is looking to challenge for the title they are currently top of the league they want to win the FA Cup potentially Champions League Although they have to play against Wolfsburg, which is kind of awkward. I've signed for Crystal Palace with Sean O'Neill, my centre-back from the Sevilla season. Still talk a lot to him, to Element as well, in the old Sevilla chat. It's a group that I feel most comfortable with. Um, if they weren't out there, I probably would have either stuck it out with Wolfsburg or just stopped playing. Uh, which I ideally don't want to do, so I'm glad I've been given this chance by Sean. I appreciate that. So hopefully we can do well with Crystal Palace in the final week. I'll be showing gameplay, of course, commentating over that, showing you what the situation is like, and keep an eye on Wolfsburg. I still want them to do well. I genuinely, genuinely want them to win because, like I said, I, I don't have any hard feelings towards anyone. But yeah, that explains it a bit. I hope that is enough to persuade maybe some of the doubters still at Wolfsburg that I don't really have any bad intentions. I, it's just... A decision I made and hopefully over time everyone will accept that and we can just um, we can just be friends again I guess I hope you enjoyed it and thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later if you have any questions by the way uh, drop them in the comment section down below and I will answer them I probably should have said that before I done my outro but anyways um, bye